Sonic Mania Adventures Episode 5, titled Metal Mayhem, sees the intersection of everyone's individual stories up until this point. With everyone coming to Eggman's base to, you know, hunt down the Chaos Emeralds that were forcibly taken from them. And so, Sonic and Tails enter into Eggman's base that looks very odd, like a void of sorts, like just this weird empty space inside. And suddenly they are captured by Metal Sonic in these kind of stasis, you know, cubes? Columns? Whatever. And so, he manages to take the two Chaos Emeralds they had and bring them to Dr. Robotnik, or Eggman, whatever. And I love this little animation we have here of Eggman just juggling the Emeralds, because that's very similar to, um... I forget which Sonic game it was, but if you did collect all the Chaos Emeralds, you see that little end animation of... Eggman kind of gloating at you, you gotta get the emeralds, you gotta get all the emeralds! And so he uses the emeralds to power up Metal Sonic, who obtains this kind of pseudo super Metal Sonic form. And so Sonic is more than willing to go at Metal Sonic in a fight, you know, he's ready to throw it down. But Metal Sonic proves to be too quick for Sonic to really deal with, you know? He, he, he's kind of giving Sonic a bit of a run for his money right here in this moment. However, Mighty and Ray come in ready to get some payback on the metal chump who roughed them up previously. Um, Mighty promptly kicks Metal Sonic to the curb, and the four then agree to throw down to take down this metal menace, which is something that I've been waiting to see for a long time. You know, actually seeing a team up of, you know, Mighty, Sonic, Tails, and Ray. You know, these characters have just been out of the spotlight for so long. And I love that, you know, it was decided by Tyson Hess or Sega themselves or whoever that, you know, this would be how the final confrontation goes down. And so, we have everyone just going in on Metal Sonic, managed to, managing to get in a few good hits, a few good solid hits on him, but quickly the ties are turned. He is, Metal Sonic is just too energized, and he promptly starts whooping up on the boys, and curb stomps them. All hope starts to kind of seem lost at first for them, as it just seems like Metal Sonic will be too unstoppable to bring down. However, Tails remembers the gizmo he managed to grab from Eggman that they've been using to track Eggman's pr um, progress with the Emeralds up until this point. And so Sonic proceeds to distract Metal Sonic so that Tails can hack into the system, freeze Metal Sonic, and put him in a type of stasis as well. Um, they promptly unleash the emeralds from Metal Sonic so that they're no longer in play, and they, you know, like the Dragon Balls, scatter to the seven ends of the Earth, or maybe this island, because that seemed to kind of be the thing in this whole um, series, whereas the emeralds just seem to be conveniently on this way. And so, Sonic joyfully takes this moment to beat the ever-loving snot out of Metal Sonic, and, however, Eggman reveals that they also have the Master Emerald, and Metal Sonic starts to get charged from it. Very reminiscent of Mecha Sonic, when he siphoned off emer energy from the Master Emerald. Um, however, this quickly stopped by Knuckles coming in and keeping them off of Ma Wool. <laughs> he knocks... Eggman and Metal Sonic into next week, so we'll see them sometime later down the line. Uh, and he promptly walks off with his emerald, not even acknowledging anyone else in this, in the, 
you know, around him. So, thanks for showing up, Knuckles. You've done a great service. Uh, so, that ends that. Kind of questioning what they should proceed to do next. The four then decide to just have a little bit of a chili dog break, which is absolutely adorable. You know, it's just fun to see everyone just kind of hanging around and... <laughs> I love the little micro expressions that everyone has where Sonic seems to be like, hmm, these are some good chili dogs, eh? Eh? Yeah. And then his <laughs> tail momentarily chokes on one right towards the end, which is just hilarious. But, you know, Sonic Mania Adventures was just a fun little thing that just led up to the release of Sonic Mania Plus. Very fun very expressive you know bringing on Tyson Hess was one of the greatest things that you know Sega has ever decided to do just because he's so expressive with these characters he puts in so much fun and charisma and just deeper levels to everything that just makes it a thrill to watch these characters in action you know he kind of Puts in a little bit of uh, the meta of certain characters, like, you know, Mighty was never strong from the get-go, but, you know, we incorporated that into this series. You know, Ray was always, you know, didn't really have too much of a characteristic, but he'd show off the, you know, sibling like relationship very similar to Sonic and Tails that they have going on that was highlighted very much mostly in the Archie comics if nothing else it was mainly the Archie comics that you saw that relationship between Mighty and Ray that was very Sonic and Tails-esque um, and I'm glad that kind of crossed over into this series a lot of that benefit comes from the cancelled Sonic Mega Drive story that Archie Comics was putting out just prior to uh, the series, the whole line's cancellation. So seeing it, that kind of spiritual successor-like thing coming over into this series is very welcomed. And I'm going to miss this series now that it's over and done with, but I hope the popularity that this series has had leads to us seeing something similar to this later down the line. But, you know, that's all I can really say in regards to this series. You know, gets like four, four and a half stars out of five from me. Five hell let's just give it five stars just because i'm just that big of a sonic fan but tell me your thoughts in this series overall in the comments below and leave me a like or even a dislike depending on how you felt about this review and subscribe for more sonic the hedgehog <laughs>